Hello everyone, today I'm testing another continuous fuel ethanol distiller, fuel ethanol steel. Uh, it's a very interesting situation because uh, my customer requested the steel without steam generator, so I have to have to do something, had to do something to make sure that the steel is working, so I need to test it. Yes. And uh, this steel is designed for 10 kilowatts power input, steam power, but uh, I hope that I've got somewhere around two and a half kilowatt because I am running this tiny LPG uh, bottle plus this LPG torch, butane torch over there. <laughs> and it's obviously not really enough uh, to run steel at full tilts. Also, I've got this old uh, wood powered steam generator. It's quite windy and warm and I don't want to use any wood or coal because it's real small. But anyway, uh, trying to run some distillation. It's not fast, of course, because the because uh, it's not enough steam, not enough power. It's windy. It's cooling down the system. It's supposed to be somewhere indoors. But anyway, I'm managing to get almost 90% of alcohol. Uh, my main task for today, main goal, to make sure that everything's running fine, nothing's leaking, everything's stable. So I do have a tiny leak, but this one is from under the thread of uh, this nut. Yeah, it's not a problem. Some thread sealing tape would do the trick, not a problem at all. Also, I've got a tiny leak from, from here. Here's a marked arrow. And I will fix it before the dispatch. Otherwise, the unit is running. Should run much faster, much faster, a few times faster. But I can't do anything about that, though I can still test it properly with some external steam generator. So it's up to the customer to find the steam generator now, connect the unit and run ethanol distillation. So everything working perfectly, not a problem apart from a couple of tiny leaks that will be fixed upon the dispatch. Everything's nice. Here we've got our alcohol at approximately 90%. It's not the flow, <laughs> because there's not enough steam, water steam for this particular steel. Here I've got some wash, it's sugar based wash, quite old one as usual because I'm making some wash patches and they last me forever, for a few months to test different steels because I don't need much for testing. Yeah, and this steel again it's would be capable to process either 20 liters or 10 liters or 200 liters, 2000 liters, non-stop, not a problem at all. As long as uh, there's some wash supply, water supply and uh, steam supply, not a problem. This particular column, it's not even filled up yet, completely. Um, it's for wastewater release, but it's not really wastewater, this water can may contain some alcohol so it's supposed to be collected separately and then processed at a later date later time sometime after the main distillation something like that if everything adjusted properly then you won't have almost anything in this particular water cutting column 
and this is it thank you very much just carry on our distillation the steel stabilized and now we get high percentage of course it's a really low production rate but for the high production rate we would need proper steam generator still running on a gas on a small burner So as you can see the steel is running and even with the small steam generator thus if you would have even a solar concentrator that would produce some steam using the solar power you can still run this contraption and produce some alcohol for fuel so it's really good conversion of sun sunlight into the fuel because sun is free yet so here is as you can see we do produce some alcohol and no electricity involved almost just for the 12 volt pump that could be run out of a solar panel <laughs> 